Hi guys, this is Puneet and you are watching PH Talk. And today we have Poco F1, which is running on Resurrection Remix OS version 6.2.1. It is a Oreo based ROM and it is working perfectly fine. Approx everything is working smoothly. Like VOLT is working, apps launching really fast, all the basic things are working. But let's talk about what is good and what is bad in this ROM. Let's talk about the pros first. Well, the first thing I noticed about this room was its support notification icon. As you can see in the video, all the notifications icon are present. Clock is hidden, but you can access it by swiping down the notification bar. It is the one of the best feature of this room because in the MIUI room, no notifications icons was present. The next advantage of this room is it support gesture navigation. You can enable gesture navigations by going into setting, then customization, then gestures. Here just enable edge gesture and you are ready to go. Now enjoy edge gesture same as MIUI room. Swipe from edge for back, swipe from bottom for home and long swipe from bottom for recent page. Next advantage is that you get a stock user interface, which is clean and smooth. Everything works fine and smooth. Google page works, launcher is stock, swipe to apply works, setting is stock, so you can find anything easily. Next advantage of this room is that the theme is working perfectly on the total user interface. Like if you change the theme to light. Then the total user interface and Google Apps supports white theme. And if you turn it to black, then total user interface becomes black. And you can see that in the video. Next advantage is double tap to wake is working natively. To enable double tap to wake, Go into setting, then display, click advance and you can enable tap to wake from here. Next feature of this Resurrection Remix ROM is its ambient display. It is working fine as you can see in the video. When we get a notification or message it wakes up the device in ambient screen. One most important feature of this room is full screen app support. For this go in setting, then display, then advanced and on the bottom you can see full screen aspect ratio. Now every app will be in full screen or you can say 18 is to 9 aspect ratio. Next feature which is really awesome. Well, you can charge your other USB power device with this POCO F1. As you can see, when I connect my USB cable, it prompts me to supply power. In my opinion, it is a very useful feature in some circumstances. Now let's talk about the cons. Well, First annoying thing in this room is it does not support notch hiding. You can use third party apps like Nacho Notch to hide the notch. Well, it is not a good solution. Like if you lock your mobile, notch will become visible and Nacho Notch also consumes lots of battery too. Other than that, when I unlock the display, annoying animation of Nacho Notch is present. Next drawback is this room does not support 4K recording. As you can see, when I go into camera settings, it shows only 1080p, no 4K. But 4K was supported in MIUI room. No Google camera is working for me till now. Well, that is a huge disappointment there. Next drawback is it does not support video call natively. It means you have to install some app to make a video call. As you can see, when I try to make a video call, 
it prompt me to invite a pupil on duo well this one is a huge drawback for me next drawback is you cannot see 4k videos on your device like on youtube there is no option for 4k video you can just see max 1080p video so that's it guys because of all these drawbacks i'm planning to switch this room well tell me in the comment section down below which other room review will you like to see and if you have any doubts then feel free to comment in the comment section down below if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe our channel and yeah thanks for watching